Hello my friends and welcome to Mech Mechanic Simulator. Well we're gonna give this a spin and see how it is. I'm assuming we're creating our profile, so I can do capitals. Okay, good. It wasn't wanting to type for a second. Terror's terrible mechs. Wow. New game. Missing parts will cause the job to fail. The mech has to be fully assembled. You're finally here. Your competitors were not as lucky as you are, and they are still sitting in their holes. And you got this, Jeff. Okay. Last move around. You can rotate the camera. Or interact objects you oh, okay. What is this room? Viewing window. You know how hard it was to find this place? And unregistered mechanics are still being prosecuted by the authorities. Since you're operating in a somewhat gray area. They'll surely make me your partner in crime. Screw me apart and make me a blender or some, some other, other tool. tool. Just, just be careful, careful okay? okay? Intro, you might feel a bit lost at the beginning since this workshop is a few times larger than the hole you built me in. Once you've taken a look around, go to your um, office. I cannot jump. Oh, that's kind of cool. We got parts and we've got software. And we've got filters and then we've got. Oh. We can filter by mech. Let's see, we've got $15,000 up there at the top. We've got a camera that's viewing. Something. I got a first aid kit that I can shove my head in. Perfectly fine. Fixes your head for you. No mech in the workstation. Okay. Can't jump. Another first aid kit. But a first aid kit that I cannot shove my face in. That one must not be to fix your face. That is not a face fixing med kit. Poster. Poster. Big poster. Mech with gun. Mech with armor. Mech. No gun. Gun. No gun. No gun. Neon lights. Lots of neon lights. Pretty scenery. Let's go. I think that's probably my office, so let's check out these other few rooms really quick. Soda. Quantum physics. Molecular physics. Inter Introductory to quantum mechanics and quantum mechanics. Is that all it takes to build a mech? We need to get an official license as soon as it's possible. Without it, no one will ever risk giving us a bigger job. With this handy PC, you'll have access to the job offers. I assume you've been in a workshop like this, but I'm here to help you if you ever feel lost. 
Yes, I would like to continue the tutorial because I am definitely lost. Can I go? Nope, I can't go in there. Don't know what that is. Oh, more parts and softwares, and then we can go through. Okay. Here you can see the list of all currently available job offers. With time and enough work, more of them should appear. Jobs. This panel will let you view the details of the selected job. You'll see what corporation is trying to hire us, the mech model, the job description, and what task you'll need to complete. Accept the job when you're ready. Repair part? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Mechanic needed. Payment after job is complete. Unit was damaged during work on one of our space stations. It's a standard unit of a of a simple build. The unit didn't suffer any serious damage. Restoring the machine to its full functionality is key to the performance of our company. We are asking for a quick response. Sincerely, sincerely Sakura Technology. Repair part question mark. Clean the mech. Accept the job. That job is now mine to accept, and I will do so. All right, let's head to the assembly station to see what's wrong with our patient. Oh god. That's huge. We'll clean we'll into here. Find out what's damaged in the mech. To do that, we will use this station. But first, we need to clean the mech from all the dust and mud. Enter the cleaning mode by pressing the cleaning button. By pressing and holding the right mouse button, start the flow of water and move it around to clean the entire mech. You can rotate the device around the mech using WASD. Is there a progress bar? There is a progress bar. Ha. Oh. It's cleaner than it was assembled for the first time. Return to the assembly screen and select the scanning option. But I didn't clean the back side too. Oh, I gotta buy fuel. We don't want to be wasting any of that, do we? Okay. Scanning. Before the scanner turns on, you'll need to adjust every mech we are currently working on in our workshop. To adjust the scanner, you need to increase or decrease the phase and amplitude of the scanner waves and fit them with the ones emitted by the mech. Once you hit the right spot, the scanner will find the damaged parts for us. That was easy. Let's scan the slightly translucent mech. Scan complete. By scanning the mech, we'll find out how to fix it and finish the job. To open the list of tasks that need to be completed, press tab. Return to the assembly screen now and press the assembly button. Okay. Assembly. This panel will let you select the mech's model you want to move to the workbench. Modules highlighted in red are the ones you found damaged part in during the scanning. Press the broken module and select one of the workbenches to move it there. Right arm, there. We'll need to detach a few parts that are blocking the module. Aim your cursor at the blocking part and remove them by holding the right mouse button. Remember that you can only detach parts that are highlighted in green. Those that become red when targeted are blocked by other parts that need to be removed first. This part's held in place by screws. You'll need to remove them first. And I can remove the screws in the back by my x-ray vision.
right arm is there. Let's head to the workbench and finally start fixing this machine. Close that. Come over here to a workbench. It just magnetically suspends the arm. Using the movement buttons, you can freely rotate the camera around the module. Using the cursor, you can select the parts that interest you. Also, the damaged part will always be visible. Use Q and E to freely switch between attaching and detaching modes. Just like in the assembly station, you can use the cursor to see which parts have to be detached before you can reach the damaged part. And you got a part, we'll allow you to see some basic information about it. From our point of view, the most important detail is the part status. Parts can be good quality, damaged, or completely broken. We'll be able to fix damaged parts in the repair station once we get them. Parts that are completely broken cannot be fixed and need to be replaced. You can detach only those parts that are not blocked by other parts. When you select a move a part, start detaching, press the right mouse button. Are you done talking to me? Mech parts are divided in several categories. Detaching parts will be different for each such category. After selecting the part you wish to detach and holding the right mouse button, you'll see a small arrow expanding what movement needs to be done to remove the part, but remember first to remove any screws that are holding it in place. And it goes up exactly like that. Now we need to get the damaged part, detach each thing one by one to be able to remove the damaged part. Yes, I assumed that was the case. So we just do dish. Another day, another mech. I feel like we're taking out a lot of things that we don't necessarily need to take out to get to those purple things up there. Well, that's just me, you know. Maybe it's vitally important that we take off everything. I guess we're doing just a really thorough job. Now I gotta do this back part. Um, can I zoom out? Thank you. So we can zoom in really good, but zooming out, that's a different question. You may not be able to zoom out, but you can zoom in. We were able to zoom out there. About to say, hopefully I don't have to put this back like piece by piece perfectly because uh, that's not going to work very well for us. You're like, you got to put in all of these screws. You've got to do all of this. just to get to these things here. Where's the green?
It's the little things attached on to whatever that was, but now I still, oh, now I gotta get those guys down, now I can get this guy down. Now that guy down, I can get this guy down. And then we can get this guy down. We can get this guy down. And now, what was the point in that? Other than becoming just a lot of things that we have to peel off, it seems we can now remove the source of the issue. Oh God. Okay. At this point, we don't have the hardware necessary to fix the part, but once you get the license, we're able to buy stations that can fix it. For now, you have to replace it with a new one. Either the attaching... Enter the attaching mode. Mode in areas where parts can be placed become highlighted. Click the place you wish to remove, or you just remove the damaged part. As you probably already noticed, we can access our inventory from the station. The inventory is already filtered to show us only the parts that will fit the selected slot. We don't have a new one to attach right now, so I'll have to buy it. Select the search in the search and shop. The button will move you directly to the shop and automatically filter the results, leaving only the parts that fit the selected area. On the left, you have a few options. Buy will show you the entire store range. Sell will allow you to sell parts you have in your inventory. And filter will make it possible to filter the parts you are searching for. You can also search for parts by name. For now, let's just buy the missing part. On the right side, you set the number of parts you wish to buy. For now, we only need one. Buy. Now that we have the part, we can return to fixing the mech. Leave the shop. There are two parts in the inventory list for now, the old one and the new one. Notice how they differ in quality. Each part can have one of four quality ratings, unrepairable, damaged, repaired, and new. If you want the employer to consider the mech fixed, you need to replace the parts labeled unrepairable or damaged with repaired or new parts. Now let's attach the new part. I mean, I have a lot of parts in here already. Can't I just use, like that one. And you need to reassemble the entire module back. Let me know when you're done. I despise you. Why couldn't I just take off that? I probably could have, and I just went with the first green thing that I seen, which was that. To screw in the screws too. Oh no. Did you know you didn't actually need to take all that apart? No, I didn't. I was just doing things, I guess. You know, nothing out of the ordinary here. Just regular old me doing regular old things. Zip, 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 zip. When reassembling the mech, make sure all the parts are in their place. Returning a mech with missing parts isn't something that employers will appreciate. And you would have to forget about the reward. Let's head back to the assembly station and reattach the module. Well then, shouldn't I check to make... Oh, no, okay, guess not. Let's go.
We need to reattach the module back to the mech, doing that in the same way I detached it, but the other way around. Select the assemble option. Assemble! Now that detached module and reattach it to the mech, also you'll need to place back the previously removed parts. Notice how the part is no longer red, that means it's fully functional. We are going to reconnect it. Reconnected! Zip, zip, zip. When you zip. finish all of the main goals of a job, you'll be able to return it. Of course, you can return a job before fixing the mech if you don't feel like getting your money. Right. Let's head back to the office. Alright, so let's go on over, complete our job, screen enables you to return jobs, some of the jobs you might get will have additional goals there, not mandatory, but doing them will increase the reward, finish job, and then we watch it just get zooped right on up. Completing, short summary, gain, loss, and for what exactly it's quite useful when you work on more complicated jobs. Next, okay. You can enter the shop at any time. Let's have a look. Open the shop using the I or one. Here we can buy and sell mech parts. On the left you can search for parts by their names or filters. Always check the parts price before you buy it. The market is really unstable right now and prices change a lot. Luckily the current price changes are displayed next to the item's cost. I just assume you want me to sell that. Was that right? Highly qualified mechanic needed. Looking for a qualified specialist. Another one. Or we can get another one of that one. Um, of damages suffered during last mission repairing a serial mech should not be too difficult. First glance, the damage doesn't look to be too serious. Restoring the mech to full functionality is key. Um. Let's get another one of these guys down, see if we can do it a little bit quicker. Oh, he's completely, completely dirty. Got it. Well, let's hurry up and get him cleaned. Out of my way, robot. Let's go. I got cleaning to do. Holding shift does nothing. I still run the same speed. Cleaning. Ah. Ah. Cleaning completed. Okay. Scanning. That looks about right, and that's right. Zippity doo, zippity da, zippity dee. I see a red ring. Assembly. It's the right arm again. We're going there. I need to remove you. I need to remove you by removing you, you, you. And then you come off, and then the arm goes wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Arms detached, we say close, we say close, and we're going to come running over here. Ah, there we go.
believe that is all I need to do there. We'll search and shop to buy. We'll just buy that one there. We'll put that back. Okay. Now we should be good to come back over here. Because Mechie Boy is repaired. Reconnect that arm. Screw in those bits and bobs. Put that on there. Close out of that. Come running up here. We just go running and running and running. We can pop in here. We can say finish job. And it's going to go zoop right on up. Two minutes and 36 seconds. Finally. Now we are finally able to buy a mechanic license. Without it, we have no chance in getting bigger jobs. Better get it quick. Thanks to the license, we can finally become a legitimate company. Let's head to the office. Hey, look at where I am. The office. Open the company tab, select the buy license option. One time transaction will grant you a lifetime mechanics license. I'm so proud of us. Oh, yeah, definitely. Welcome to the world of fixing mechs, legally. Now we can finally create our company. Now Next. we can create a real company. Let's start with the logo and name. By using the arrows next to the logo, you can define the shape of it. Using the menu on the opposite side, you can define its color. Once you achieve the desired look, type in the name and accept it all. Don't worry, you'll be able to change the logo at... Thank you, yes. go with the eye with some purple and green and this is going to be can't type too much cool we'll just be TTM then Accept. Company, we will finally get the treatment we deserve. It's good, but since now the quality of your work will have an effect on our reputation. Womp, womp, womp. Reputation with each corporation needs to be gained separately, and your standing can be checked in the upper right corner of the screen. The better standing we have, the more serious jobs we'll get. Having good reputation will also increase our prestige and give us access to better hardware. When it comes to hardware, the license gives us access to special repair stations. Special repair stations. Ooh. At the beginning, the assortment won't be anything special, but in time, it'll be really nice pieces of hardware. We'll use stations to fix the parts, not just replace them. Let's have a look. Enter the station shop under the company tab. For now, it seems our prestige is too low for us to buy anything. I'm sure that when we earn some trust, the corporations will let us buy something special for workshops. Yeah, ain't that cool. All right, back to jobs. Why does that one pay so much less than that one? They just want us to repair it. 
The origin remains unclear, however, our specialists have ruled out sabotage, replacing the parts of a lower class mech with a simple build should not prove too challenging. A quick analyst indicates that a couple of components have been damaged in case of unsatisfactory quality of execution company reserves right to refuse payment. You're not even paying a good amount, dude. So you know what? We're gonna go with the Sakura Technology one because they've they've treated us good so far. We're gonna bring down their mech and we're going to fix it in another two minute and thirty second run. Let's a go. Come on. Hey, my logo. Trippy. Let's a go. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Cleaning. Do the back side. Cleaning is complete. Okay, scanning. Just had it. It was right there. Haha, -ha, we got it. Scan it. Tell me what wrong. Is it the right? Nope, it's actually the leg. Ooh, right leg. You'll go there. I gotta take you off, and I gotta take you off. So he tells him. Hasta la vista, baby. And he was done for. Poor homo sapien. Okay. <laughs> right leg is there. Close out of that. Let's go to right leg now. About to say, is that the only damaged part? That's the only one currently showing. So we'll search and shop. We'll just buy one of those guys. We'll pop it in and we'll be good to put the leg back on and we'll be done with this one and on to the next. Here in a matter of a minute. Boom. Let's go. And we come up here and we say finish job and the mechy boy gets picked up. He flies to the heaven. And he's gone. Prestige increased. Your prestige has increased. You unlocked the decorrosion station, the welding station, and the tablet. Company. Company shop. Tablet. Why do I want the tablet? Allows you to access the office PC remotely. Handy thing to have when you don't feel like running up and down the stairs. Yes. Now you have the tablet, you'll access the office PC from anywhere in the workshop to start pressing the T button, that's cool. Decorrosion station, enables removing rust from damaged parts. Rust-free parts can be used to fix mechs without an additional purchase. The decorrosion station Ooh. allows us to remove rust from parts. Shocking. Come on. Oh, I wanted to buy the other one. Ooh, I like the look of that better. Fine, I'll come look at your station. Start it up, I'll find someone we can fix. The screen will display all the parts from the inventory that can be decorroded. Select one of them. Remember that every station requires fuel to work. We need to restock once in a while. You can do that from the part selection screen, but right now it won't be necessary. Now the part's selected, you can start the process. 
confirm. The station uses lasers to remove the rust from the part. You can change the size of the laser beam using Q and E, but you must be careful. If you use the laser for too long on a surface that's not covered in rust, you might damage the part. You can freely rotate the part using the WAST. Remove the rust. That's all there is. about to say nicely done decreating a part changes its status from damage to repair just remember to be careful with the laser oh no close cool and you know what since I have my handy dandy tablet now I can just oh nope I still have to go up there to buy things don't I okay Guess you don't get all the access. That's okay. Welding station enables welding broken parts. Repaired parts can be used to fix mechs without an additional purchase. Bye. Welding yes. Is easy. The issues start when you don't really see what you need to weld. I'll explain everything at the station. Okay. So now I need to go down there. I wish I could jump. That'd make this so much easier because I could just jump off the I railing. Talk to myself very often. Yes, you do. I'm not listening. Boot up the station with the PC here. On the left, you'll see a list of parts that are broken. Select one of them. Let's start. Remember that you need feel as well. Without the station, it will be useless. When you are ready to start, simply press start. Confirm. You're using your mouse to scan the part. The scanner will have a blue tint when damage is found. When it turns red, you're looking at a potential welding spot that needs to be marked using the right mouse button. For the station to start welding, the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see the number of damaged areas found. Welding the part back together changes the quality from damaged to repaired. Let me try that again. Is there like a prog- oh yeah, there is a progress bar. I'm at one of two. Okay. So now, I should be able to go around this guy fairly easily. Yep, and there we go. Cool. Bye, fuel. Okay. Now, if we say this, you have three parts to repair on that one. One part to repair on that one. Let's accept the job of this guy, since he's new, and we'll see how quickly we can get him going through. Cuckoo. Let's get up here and get to cleaning. Cleaning is done. And now let's get to scanning. We need to pull that amplitude down. 
right there. Now we can scan. Ooh, we got quite a few parts there. We got assembly. We'll have to take off those guys. That gets the arm off. Control case is going to go there. That comes off, and then we can pull this entire casing out. That's cool. Now, because I don't have enough workbenches, we're going to have to go finish these. Um, curious about how. Taking that stuff off matters. Hey, you did pay the rent, right? I'm supposed to pay rent. What? Okay. Now, I don't have anything there I can do. there with that so it looks like I'm just stuck buying a new part that's okay search and shoo tasty I just thought that was a really big arm on that mech there. I was like, ah, that's a mech with a huge arm. I don't think I'm going to have enough money to fix this, am I? I'm not. Can I go negative? I cannot. Oh, I heard a lot alone. Opened new doors. We proved that we are worth the trust, and from now on, we can take loans. From this screen, you'll be able to take loans and specify the repayment schedule. Hmm. 
Okay, so now we can search and shop. We can get this cable. That can go there. And then we can go put this stuff back on, grab that last part that needs to be replaced. Assembly, right arm. Assembly control case. Right leg goes there. This comes off. That comes off, and the whole leg just kind of kicks itself back and forth, and then it comes off. That's now in that one. So now we can come over here. We're going to say, hey, cool. I just need that. See if we can fix the part, which looks like we can. Awesome. say that but I guess you're the robot you'd know better there we go and now we should be able to bring up this and say finish job because all three parts are repaired the mech is fully back together and it's on its way out Let's accept this guy, we'll get him in, get it going. Since we don't have to clean it, that makes life a little bit easier. We just have to scan it, get it fixed, and get it out of the shop. Do the quick flip. That arm's off. That arm's off. Now let's get one of these arms worked on. Zip, 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 zip. Off. Go here, go here. Confirm. There's two spots. There we go. 
close. Now can I also remove rust from it to help make it better? No, I can't. I can weld it, and that's about it. Oh, but I have three different ones now. You'll get the 62 one. No, I had multiple of the parts already. That would have made life a little bit easier. Just those caps. Yep. Let's try to remove rust from it. Let's see, nope, can't. And we gotta we have to weld it. All right, confirm, there's two we've got right there. And right there. Now we're a little bit better. Come over here, go back there. We'll just select you. We can come over here. Assembly left arm goes there. Right arm goes there. And there we go. Finished job. three minutes and 30 seconds but on a positive note we now have 20 grand in the bank city center view yeah right that damn estate agent oh god there's a lot of stuff in that oh jobs all right well with that we're probably gonna call it an end for at least right now we will uh save and quit here we'll put the link for this game in the description down below um if you enjoy it let me know hit the like button leave a comment you know what to do if you want to see more content like this i'm always uh trying different games and doing different things i hope subscribe to see more things like that as always, I hope everybody had a wonderful time, fantastic evening, and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye.